and happy July. This is Sarah with Posh Pooch Designs and this is our seventh six inch crochet square for our year long crochet along. And if you haven't been following along each month, we have released a six inch crochet square with the inspiration being the monthly birthstone. This month's birthstone is the ruby. So I decided to make it look like it had a little ruby in the center. And then because it's also a very patriotic month because of 4th of July here in America, I added the blue and the white and the red just for fun. Now remember, you do not have to make your squares the same color as mine. You can use whatever colors you like. You could even do the whole thing in one color. I did one in a little bit lighter blue as well, and that's what we're going to be doing today because it is a little bit easier to see with the lighter blue. And I used a little bit more of a matte red because the shiny sometimes doesn't video well. So what you're going to need is you're gonna need some red, you're gonna need some white, and you're going to need some blue. Just a little bit of each color. These are worsted weight number four yarns and they are the Red Heart Super Saver. <clears throat> you're going to be stitching today with our H hook. You're also going to need a needle for weaving in those ends and a pair of scissors. This is a free pattern on my blog and you can find that blog link right down there in the notes underneath the video. So go ahead and grab you some worsted weight number four yarns and your crochet hook and we'll get started. The first thing that we're going to do is make our slip knot and chain five. We're going to take that tail, wrap it over our hook, and pull it through that loop, and then snug that down. And then I always just tie another knot just to hold it. I don't want mine to come undone. And we're going to begin stitching in this little loop. We're going to be stitching in this loop, so I'm going to put my hook in there up a loop and just chain one and that just gets us to the outside of our little loop. What we're going to do is we're going to single crochet 12 single crochets in this loop. So we're going to go in, we're going to pull up a loop, we're going to yarn over and go through both loops. One, two, three, four, push your single crochet is over so they'll all fit five all right there's 12 now I'm going to join to that first single crochet going through both of those top loops with a slip stitch and this is how it should look with our 12 single crochets and joined with a slip stitch. For the next row, we're going to make those four loops. And the way we do that is we're going to single crochet right in that first single crochet. And then we're going to chain five. We're going to skip these next two single crochets and single crochet in the next single crochet. Chain five, skip the next two single crochets and single crochet in the next single crochet. See, we've already made two loops. So we single crocheted and we're going to chain five one, two, three, four, five. We're going to skip the next two 
single crochet in the next one, two, three, four, five, and then we're going to join to that first single crochet where we started with a slip stitch. And this is how this row should look. You have four chain five loops. For this next row, we're going to take these four loops that we made and make them into eight. So what we're going to do is in this first single crochet, we're going to single crochet. Then we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to go right in this first chain five space and stitch a single crochet. And then we're going to chain five. Then we're going to go to the next single crochet and single crochet. Pull out some more yarn here. And you can see we made one loop into two. All right, so we're going to repeat what we just did three more times. So we'll chain five. We'll single crochet in this next chain five space, and then we'll chain five, then we'll single crochet in the single crochet. And there again, we took this loop and we made it into two loops. And we'll repeat that two more times. Chain five, single crochet in the next chain five space, chain five, and then single crochet in the single crochet. All right, one more time. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet in the chain five space, chain five. Whoops, the hook just popped right out of there. And then we'll single crochet in that last single crochet. And that's how it should look at this point. We turn those four loops into eight. Makes a pretty nice flower, doesn't it? So now we need to make our flower into a square. So what we're going to do, we're gonna slip stitch right into this first chain five space. And then we're going to stitch one, two single crochets. We're going to chain two, and then we're gonna stitch two more single crochets in that first loop. We're going to chain two. Then in this next loop, we're only going to stitch two single crochets. And chain two. And we'll repeat this around so that we'll end up with four sides. So the next chain five space, we're going to stitch two single crochets, one, two, then we're going to chain two, and then stitch two single crochets, one, two. So there's our second corner made. Here's our first corner, there's the first side, and there's our first corner. Chain two, and then stitch two single crochets in the next chain five space and chain two. And we'll repeat this the rest of the way around and join to that first single crochet. So here's our next corner. Two single crochets, chain two, and two single crochets, chain two, two single crochets, one, two, chain two, and now we're doing our last corner. One, two, one, two, 
two single crochets. chain two and here's our last chain five space so we put two single crochets chain two and join to that first single crochet of that row and you can see it's starting to make a little square so now we're ready to join our blue color in and I went ahead and clipped off my red for now and the way we join the blue in, we put it over the hook, pull it through, and snug that down. And then we're going to place a slip stitch right in that first corner. And then we're going to chain one and then single crochet, two single crochets. We're going to chain two and put two single crochets because this is the corner. We're going to chain two, there we go, and then we're going to go in this first chain two space and stitch two single crochets, one and two. Then we're going to chain two and we'll go to this next chain two space and stitch two single crochets, one and two, and then we'll chain two. And that's the way we'll do all the corners and the sides on this row. Two single crochets, chain two, two single crochets. Then we'll chain two and put two single crochets in the two chain two spaces, and then we'll be back at the corner. And we'll do it the same. Find that chain two space, then we'll stitch one, two single crochets, chain two, and two single crochets. And we'll do the other corners exactly the same. Chain two, and then we'll put two single crochets in these next two chain two spaces. So there's one and two, chain two, one and two, and chain two. And you can see how that's working. Now we'll do this exactly the same. The corner is two single crochets, chain two, two single crochets. Then we'll chain two and put two single crochets in those two chain two spaces. And we'll do these two corners exactly the same. And then we'll join here to that first single crochet. This is the way that your square should look at this point. We've done two single crochets, chain two, two single crochets in the four corners. Then we chain two, two single crochets, chain two, two single crochets, and chain two. All the way around and then we join to that first single crochet. And now we slip stitched to the corner. And the corner is done on this row exactly the same. We're going to place two single crochets in that first corner. Then we're going to chain two and two single crochets. And the corners are the same throughout the project. Then we're going to chain two. But we're going to be doing something a little bit different on this row. For our two single crochets, we're going to be stitching down between the two single crochets on the last row of the red. So we're going to take our hook and we're going to go between those two single crochets and stitch two single crochets. Chain two. And you can see I went right down in between those two single crochets. Chain two. We're going to do the same thing on this one. We're going to go down to this red. We're going to put our hook in between those two single crochets and stitch two single crochets in the blue. Then chain two and we'll do the same thing on the next one. Two single crochets in between those two red. Let me make my chain two and then I can show you the way that looks. Here here and here. 
in between the two single crochets. And that's what we'll do on each side. Chain two, and now we're back in the corner and we're going to do the two single crochets. One, two, chain two, and two single crochets. And chain two. All right, so now we're back on this, on the, we're on the next row. So now we're on the next row and we need to do the same way we did on this side. We're gonna go down in between those two single crochets on the red row and stitch two single crochets, chain two, and we'll do it again. Chain two, and then one more. Here's our last red section here, or set of two single crochets. Chain two, and now we're back to our corner. Two single crochets, chain two, and two single crochets. Whoops. All right, let me go ahead and chain two. And you can see it gives it a little bit of a different look because instead of going in the chain two space, we went down to the last row of the red and did our two single crochets in between the two single crochets on that row. And we're going to do that again on this side and this side and then join back to that first single crochet. So I've cut my blue yarn off after I slip stitched to the corner and I'm going to join in my white because I want a row of white in there. So there we go. Join my white in. I'm going to go right in this first corner and stitch the corner like we usually do. Two single crochets, chain two, and two single crochets. Now the rest of this um, square is really simple. Chain two, we're going to go right in that next chain two space and stitch two single crochets. One and two. And chain two. And we'll do this all the way across, stitching two single crochets in the chain two space. And chain two. Here's my next one. And here's my next one. See, this row is super simple. Chain two, and then we're back at the corner, and we do the corner exactly the same. One, two, two single crochets, two chains, and two single crochets. And this is the way the whole white row will go. We'll do the corner the same, then we'll chain two, two single crochets in each of those four chain two spaces. The rest of this square is super duper easy. Now we're back at the next corner, or we're not back at the next corner, we're at the next corner. Two single crochets, chain two, and two single crochets. Go ahead and do my chain two. And you can see corners the same, two single crochets, chain two, two single crochets, then we chain two, and two single crochets in each of those four chain two spaces and then we do the corner the same and we'll do this on the last two sides and then we'll join back to that first single crochet and then we're going to change back and finish in red. So I finished the white row as you can see really simple 
and the red row is done exactly the same. The only difference is you'll have an extra chain two space on the side. So I've already cut my white yarn. I'm going to add my red in. And we're going to begin exactly the same. We're going to place two single crochets in the first corner, chain two, and two single crochets. And there's our first corner. We're going to chain two, and then we'll place a set of two single crochets in each of those chain two spaces with a chain two in between. Exactly like the white row, the only difference is that we have one extra chain two space on each side because that's the way granny squares work. There we go. So we're going to have five sets of two single crochets, chain two on the side. Like this. Now we're back at the corner and we're going to do it exactly the same. The corner's always done. Two single crochets, chain two, two single crochets, and then you'll do the side like we did this one in the five chain two spaces, you'll chain two, two single crochets, chain two all the way across on each side. And then again, we'll join back here to the red and then we'll tie off and weave in all those ends. So let's do the next corner. Two single crochets, chain two, and two single crochets. chain two, and two single crochets all the way across in each of these chain two spaces. There's the last one and chain two. So you can see it's exactly the same. Stretch it out a little bit there. As the white row, only one additional chain two space on each side. So I'll work my way around and I'll join to the top of that first single crochet. So I finished the red row all the way around and now I'm going to join to the top of that first single crochet and I like to go right back in right back in that last corner with the slip stitch just to kind of help it lay nice we'll clip off that yarn and tie off now one of the things about tying off when you're changing lots of colors and weaving in your end is to make sure when you do it that you stay within the color so that it doesn't show through. Granny squares or Afghan squares can come apart easily. So make sure you use a needle, thread it on there, and when you're stitching for weaving in, go one way, then turn and go back another way, staying within the color that you're working with because you don't want that color to show through. If you're weaving in your white, you don't want to weave it into the red because it will show through. All right, let me show you with the white. If I were to weave this in through the red, it would show through on the other side. So I'm going to just go down and I try to go in the stitches themselves and weave it in to the white. Go a couple of ways, go back and forth, go in the fibers of the yarn if possible because um, granny squares have usually have lots of colors and so you want to make sure that you weave in those colors in such a way that they're going to stay put and they're also not going to be shown. Whoops, I guess I'll do that needle over again. So thread it on your needle 
go to the back staying within the color and you can go down farther if you want to just stay within the color go one way and then turn and come back the other way and I try to do it three times especially if I'm doing a granny square or something where I've made a lot of color changes I give it a little pull and then I clip it and that way that baby is not coming out now this one particular square because it's I think because it's stitched um, around the center it probably will need to be blocked and I have um, a video to show you how to block acrylic yarn if you want to the other thing is when we're doing our project when we're all done after the 12 months we're going to be stitching them all together in a certain pattern a certain way and so the the blocking probably isn't that necessary but it just depends on you and what you prefer I almost always put my acrylic blocks on my blocking board, spray it down like I did with this one. I'll put it on my blocking board, I'll spray it down with a little bit of water, then I just set it on my dryer or out in the sun long enough for it to dry. And I usually let it sit there for a couple of days in the house, not outside. And it just seems to have a much better shape, but it's totally up to you if you want to block it. Because, the, like I said, the project that we're going to do when we're all done with all 12 squares really doesn't require any blocking. So this is our July Ruby 6-inch crochet square for our year-long crochet along. If you want the other patterns, I'll put that link also down in the notes underneath the video, and you can go and click on those. Uh, another place to find those is on my blog, just on my free pattern um, pages uh, category. Just scroll down the page and it'll have the year-long crochet along there also. Mm -hmm.